humor. I want to talk quickly about humor because this is really serious insofar as, again, we're, it's grief. Grief is sort of, it's built, the story is structured around grief, the woman dealing with grief, and yet there are a lot of funny moments. And I'm just going to, I'm going to cite just a couple of funny quotes, and there are many, and I could have cited many more. Okay, one of my first favorite ones was on page seven. So very early on, she's already going at it. She was a confident chewer. <laughs> I love that. I love that for a whole bunch of reasons. But one, you could see it. She's like, yeah, I guess I never thought about someone chewing confidently, but I can see it. And that's a hilarious observation. And that's, again, that's one of those sort of day-to-day, -day, like really getting into the nitty gritty. But in this case, it's really funny. Um, I should have been somebody's hamster. Okay, that's another good one. Uh, but then this one is sort of macabre and hilarious at the same mm, time. Like mm -hmm. maybe this one's not supposed to be funny, mm. but to me it is. And I suspect to you it was too. But quote, I liked hearing. <laughs> okay, hold on. I liked hearing the details of other people. You're talking to your mom. This is about your oh, conversations yeah. with your mom. I liked hearing the details of other people's lives. People wounded in hunting accidents. <laughs> that's not it. People wounded in hunting accidents. or <laughs> Or run over by farm machinery. <laughs> or their children run over. <laughs> or, it's terrible that we're it's laughing terrible. at this. I know. Or their children run over or somehow damaged by farm machinery. Okay. You and I clearly have similar dark senses and dry senses of yes. humor. But I love that. And there's so much of that. So and can you tell me, though, going getting more back on track to our respectable literary conversation about kind of why you brought the humor in to a book that's focused around grief. And I think I already know the answer. Oh, would you give it? I don't know. I mean, it, the, this is my, that's the, that's my sensibility. That's the, the kind of humor that hits me um, sometimes. Like I, here's the thing. This is so absurd, this thing that we're doing. And we all know this. Life. Yeah, this yep. thing that we're doing, yeah. yes, this yeah. living thing. <laughs> this living thing that yes. we're doing, yes. you, know, you, know, mo you know, we go, we go, we do this, we do that, we do this, we do that, and that's great. And then once in a while, we just stand back and we look, and it's like, good Lord, look at that. <laughs> look at that strange thing that person said look at that strange person I am look at this look at the way this little girl is petting her dog on the on the bench and talking about I'll be so sad when you die buster or whatever and I'm <laughs> laughing right. life is it's so absurd right mm. that Italo Calvino story the flash where everything suddenly becomes clearly absurd and what are mm. we all participating in and so I think I have that kind of meta view readily available mm. my father also had it readily available mm -hmm. and he would make these little comments that we you know we'd be playing cards and mom would be like no I had 12 <laughs> points on that last hand she's a fabulous bridge player and card player uh -huh. and he'd say well Bert if you feel that strongly about it I'll give you the 12 points and he'd <laughs> write it down but we would all laugh yeah. because we knew that he was making some comment about whatever or yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That wasn't a very good example, but um, that wasn't a good example, but he did it all the time. He made these dry comments that a lot of people wouldn't even laugh at, but the fan, we would, his children would laugh at them. Oh, no, but it goes back, that example goes back to what you just said a second ago, which is, it's not, and this is why I said when I said I, I already think I know the answer, this was going to be my answer for you would have been, that just like everything we're talking about with the magical realism or just your whole writing process, it's not, it's not strategic. It's not contrived. You're just going with it and it just organically comes in. It's your sensibility. It's your background. It's that inspiration comes in. It's funny. It works there and you just go with it. Yeah. And, and that's it's how thing. we survive, which it's is I think also survive. the other thing you're sort of maybe, maybe hinting at is everything yeah. is so surreal. I couldn't survive here without humor. Right. No, I mean, the humor is what gets me through the day. Yeah. Amen. Amen to that. Okay.